a mysterious young man named Kugasaki Siren appeared, laughing from the top of the school building. He was a fervent admirer of Empress Sarera and challenged Hiroto to a game without beating around the bush. Siren believed he would be the first player to make Hiroto kneel before him because he considered himself superior. Initially doubtful of Siren's grandiose claims, Hiroto accepted the challenge, reversing the stakes, and bet that the loser couldn't challenge Sianji Saresa. Feeling intimidated, Siren, the leader of the self-created Holy Knights, didn't back down and kept challenging Hiroto to the game. Hiroto responded calmly, stating that he would reveal Siren's true level, considering his claims to be mere empty talk. As Hiroto waited for someone with an unusual appearance for him, he spotted a girl dressed unusually as well. Upon realizing it was Saresa, he greeted her, and Hiroto was slightly surprised by her somewhat reserved appearance. Saresa asked him about the conditions of the challenge, whether it was to protect her secret or had another intention. Hiroto gave an answer that at least reassured Saresa, as revealing Sarasa's true identity would also expose Hiroto's deception. Thus, Hiroto protected everything to prevent unwanted outcomes. Hiroto invited Rina to come to his house, and upon arrival, they were greeted by Himeji, who had previously served the Sianji family or, more accurately, protected Akabane Rina, who disguised herself as Sianji Saresa. This revelation surprised Hiroto, and he immediately shared the incident about the real Sianji Saresa being kidnapped. Himeji, who knew about it, urged Hiroto and Rina to enter a secret room in his house to discuss strategies to counter Siren's game called 27 Forms of Self-Creation. The game involved Hiroto and Siren collecting cards and competing based on the total number on them. The game had two phases, the collection phase, where players had to find cards numbered from 0 to 19 scattered in District 4 and select the five highest numbers. They could search on foot or use public transportation, and new cards would appear every five minutes, which they could obtain using their smartphones. The second phase was the confrontation phase, where the five selected highest cards would be pitted against the opponent's cards. The player with the highest number would continue until someone secured three points. As this game had no record of a one-star winner defeating Siren, Hiroto's chance of winning was estimated to be only around 1%, almost non-existent. Rina explained that she could use her numerical adjustment ability, previously used when she fought against Hiroto, to manipulate the card values during the game. However, Siren, ranked 5 stars, could change the value 19 to 30 with a star rank, and Hiroto, being a fake 7 star, couldn't exercise low-ranked privileges, leaving him with no choice but to resort to cheating. Himeji would assist him with her tricks during the collection phase, hindering Siren's movements to buy time and collect cards that Hiroto could win despite the numerical adjustment being used. Rina warned that if Siren entered the collection phase with perfect preparation, Hiroto would be doomed because Siren possessed the emergency movement ability, enabling him to control his 300 soldiers with a single use and grant their abilities to him. Rina suggested Hiroto should disregard that his Siren Star ability, Black Wings, could release smoke and thunder, making it a challenge to fight him. Hiroto asked Rina about the abilities he could use to counter Siren. She mentioned the first ability, Coordinate Manipulation, could change the location of cards in District 4 and gather them at one point but only worked on 5-star and above cards. The second ability, Tracing, enabled him to find all the cards from the start through his smartphone and determine the order of cards to take. Hiroto also inquired about the 1-star ability he could use from Himeji. She suggested the Error Display ability, which would cause the opponent's smartphone screen to malfunction. Additionally, he could utilize the Fortune ability to balance the odds and increase the chance of finding high-numbered cards. Lastly, the numerical adjustment ability according to Hiroto's prediction. These three abilities were what Hiroto would employ to counter Siren. Although Himeji doubted their effectiveness, considering the actual battle was in the collection phase. Nonetheless, Hiroto was confident in his choices as an assurance of his victory. After Rina returned home from Hiroto's place, Hiroto asked about Himeji avoiding Rina, but Himeji explained that it was actually Rina who was avoiding her. As Rina was a close friend of Himeji, she found Rina's current behavior strange, as she was hiding something from her and the Sianji family. Himeji also warned Hiroto to protect Rina because she was a fragile girl. The game between Hiroto and Siren was about to begin. 
Himeji had prepared to assist Hiroto in winning the game by coordinating the target cards to be taken, finding the most efficient route and cutting down Siren's movement time. However, it seemed like all the preparations were in vain because within a few seconds of the game starting, Siren had already obtained two cards and closed off all possibilities for Hiroto to gather information in searching for cards. Siren broke through Himeji's call and started intimidating Hiroto, who was confused and struggling to find his first card. Feeling that Himeji's help wouldn't be enough, Hiroto managed to call himself and think of an alternative way to find the card, eventually succeeding in getting his first card. While Hiroto was worried about the possibility of Siren taking the card with the number 17, he suddenly saw Haru riding her motorcycle. He asked for her assistance to reach the coordinates of the next card. After Haru provided the ride, Hiroto thanked her, and she felt grateful to the school principal for giving her permission to do the temporary motorcycle business. However, during his search for the second card, Hiroto fell from a hike because the card's location was precarious without any safety measures below. Siren had already obtained 11 cards, leaving Hiroto with 9 cards, and the game was not yet over. When Hiroto got injured from the fall, Rina came to encourage him, as he had lost his earphones, which he used to communicate with Himeji. Hiroto had a great responsibility to protect his lie and Rina's lie, especially to meet his childhood friend. However, Rina revealed the lie that Sarera had been kidnapped. Saresa, in fact, wanted to attend a regular school. With Rina's help, she managed to attend a regular school on the main island. Hiroto, who felt that Himeji should know about this, was stopped by Rina, as the secret would be revealed in two years. Rina didn't want Yuki to be involved in this because it was her mistake. Hiroto understood and admired Rina for her courage to make Sarasa's true wish come true by fooling the Academy Island and the Sianji family. He praised Rina for her audacious actions, as it was her style. Rina was surprised and blushed, understanding what Hiroto meant. But Hiroto added that they should continue this lie for a while longer to stay safe from potential threats. Himeji arrived and asked about Hiroto's condition, informing them that Siren had collected 16 cards, and the location of the last two cards hadn't been revealed yet, but it was likely they would be taken. Hiroto and Rina believed they could obtain the remaining two cards and win the game by seizing the last chance to turn the tide using the cheating method they hadn't used. Again yet, the collection time has ended, and now it's the opening phase where Siren has arranged five cards. While Hiroto only has two cards, Siren intimidates Hiroto to give up, as he believes Hiroto cannot win against him. Although Hiroto seems to be giving up, he's actually stalling for time to activate his cheating method at the right moment. When Hiroto successfully prolongs the time to use the Rule Breaker in a sneaky way, even though normally this ability can only be used on players rank 6 and above, the first round of the opening phase ends. Hiroto changes the rules using the Rule Breaker, stating that if a player runs out of cards in the first turn, the game will continue to the next turn but all the cards used by both Hiroto and Siren will be eliminated. However, in the first turn, Hiroto only discards one card while Siren discards all his selected cards. When the second turn begins, Hiroto still has one card, while Siren has none, leading Hiroto to win the game. After his victory, he collapses and appears very weak due to the effects of falling from a hike while grabbing the card. Several days after the game, Hiroto is in the hospital because of his serious injuries and needs to be hospitalized. He is on the hospital rooftop, enjoying the outside atmosphere, when Rina visits him. She is a bit annoyed because he isn't in his hospital room. Rina thanks Hiroto for protecting everything she has, especially her lies. When Rina mentions the type Hiroto referred to, she does so shyly while he's on a call with him edgy. Rina is annoyed that Hiroto isn't paying attention to her and suddenly hugs him as she successfully convinces him. 